All right, guys. Next review up is the Jars. Stoner MacGyver's review on the Jars. G Y A R Z. The Y is silent. First thing, although this is a small size case, it does hold a good amount of herb. It can hold basically an eighth, depending on the density. Um, I can usually fit about that in there on ground. You can fit quite a bit more up if you grind it first. Um, I use this primarily as an out and about on the go stash, so pre-grinding is not a problem. Um, also, I did a test with this, keeping pre-ground butt in it for a month, just to see what it was like after a week, each week for a month. I'll tell you a little more about that later. Um, first thing we're going to notice about the jars is this outside case itself. This is made of recycled milk carton containers. Everything in this product is made of recycled materials and is recyclable. Now these outer um, milk carton containers, that you should never really need to replace. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and take show you a look inside. Right here in the cap, we've got a food safe uh, gasket in there that's going to help create your air safe or airtight and watertight seal um, now with the jar you'll notice the lip sticks up slightly that's going to push into that gasket and create that seal go ahead and slide this out you'll see the glass liner glass liner is kind of a thin glass but it's not a problem with these gaskets in there and this outer container this thing is durable and the awesome thing is you're never exposing any of your herbs to the plastic itself. It's either only touching the glass or in the rare case it touches the top of the lid. Like I said, that is a food safe gasket. Um, so you're never touching, uh, exposing anything to plastics or any porous materials. Therefore, that's how you're going to get the good seal that's going to be no smell airtight. Keep everything fresh and right. Um, also down here in the bottom of the jar is another one of those gaskets that's going to give you shock protection um, and it also makes it a nice tight fit. Uh, I just finished my uh, little over a month deal with this as what I did is I ground up a little over a eighth there at the beginning, put it all in there, put the cap on and once a day, I would take at least once a day, usually about three or four times, I would pull that cap off just long enough while I loaded a bowl out of another stash and then I would tighten that back up just so that it got some air circulated it was like I was pulling product out of it um, and I would do that every day and on Sundays once a week for four weeks I went ahead and pulled out a couple bowls sampled it I'm telling you week one no change week two you could tell it had been ground but Nothing like it would have been if you would have put it in one of the pill bottles or anything like that. If you're not using, if you're already using glass, you know what I'm talking about. But the other great thing about this compared with the other glass, these outer material, milk jug material containers, this is going to be light tight. As long as you don't buy the purest white, there's going to be no light getting through there at all, which is also very key. Light's going to vary, but slow, sure, very slowly but surely degrade your herbs in there make them less potent um, so you're gonna go ahead and seal that down one last tighten to go ahead and really seal it that'll give you that watertight seal you can slam these things around pretty good nothing's gonna happen to them I wouldn't recommend doing it with yours but just proof that it can be done smash the heck out of those things and still nothing can't even tell awesome product definitely good with a portable vaporizer like a Pax nice little pipe anything that you're gonna want out and about um, jars is coming out with a larger size can't wait for that I've also talked to them I would like to see them come out with a concentrate container with the same two uh, two container design I think that would be awesome um, but for herbs this is definitely the last stash you will ever need to buy um, if you ever do break that glass on the inside for any reason 
just go ahead and order a new replacement one slides right in you'll never need to replace this outside part if your seals start getting old and they start to dry out or anything like that you can replace the seals everything about this is a replaceable unit it's all recyclable it's an awesome product also one percent of sales is going to go to funds used to research cleaning up the oceans so very environmentally friendly in the sense that it's recycled materials anyway but they're also put in part of the proceeds into figuring out what to do with what's already there um, awesome company awesome products can't wait to see what's next uh, check them out at jars.com and definitely 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 I would suggest picking these up for anyone who does a traveling uh, portable smoking definitely